Hello everyone, my name is Raven, and welcome to Raven67854 Gaming, and welcome back to another amazing and ever so lovely tutorial, and in this tutorial, what we're going to do is we're going to look at skyboxes, and in order to, you know, make this, you know, kind of appropriately here, um, we are going to have to carve out a lovely little, uh, of a little section for it. So I think what we're going to do is we are going to select our wall here. And uh, actually, let's just zoom in over here. How long is this wall? Um, 160. How long is this? 128. Okay, so let's go here. And uh, let's see. We want it to be 128. And that is effectively how tall it is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit enter on that. I'm just using this for a reference, by the way. And then I'm going to select this floor. And I am going to drag this down until about, say, here. And then I'm just going to move this wall over here. And then I'm going to grab this wall and track it down. Okay. Now, uh, you know, we could, well, one thing we could just do here uh, is, since I'm going to be doing it this way anyway, so let me just go into the brush tool and then type dev in the texture settings over here, grab our wall texture, And I'm just gonna drag it so that it's perfect and then hit enter. And then I'm gonna grab this bigger wall. And I'm just, okay, might help if I actually click the right bit there. And then I'll just delete this part, perfect. I was gonna use the, uh, the clipping tool, but I realized actually not really very necessary on that. Okay, so now we have our opening and we have this little section here. I'm going to grab this and drag it back because we're probably going to need this wall here to go this way. And yeah, there you go. It's pretty darn flush with it. So yeah, looks pretty good. Looks wide enough. You're going to walk out and see, you know, pretty little skybox. But first, what we want to do is go into our uh, texture selection, select our ground, and then we're going to actually literally select our ground. And then in the top viewport here, we're just going to start dragging out a really, really sizable uh, room here. I mean, this is fairly big, but yeah, we're going to need bigger. All right, so I don't know how big we're actually going to do here, but we're going to find out. I'll just drag it like that. Hmm. I mean, 2048 by 2048 is a really big brush. Uh, I don't think this will cause any problems for us. Uh, if it does, we'll just delete it and or split it in half or something like that so it's two separate brushes. Okay, so now what we want to do is we just want to take our brushes and effectively just drag this over to here. Select the other one here. Drag it way down over to here. And then swap back to our texture tool there. Or sorry, our uh, wall texture. And then, you know, same as before. Just going to zoom out so I can see. Making sure I'm doing everything. And we're just going to drag it way over. And then hit enter. Now, I'm not actually sure. This may not be a tall enough of a wall. Uh, chances are it's not going to be tall enough, but that's, you know, just get the frame of it done first. And, you know, we can, we can go beautify it later, but let's just get the, the bulk of it done here. Okay, so this, yeah, this is not going to be tall enough. Um, so what we're going to do is I'm going to grab this. And I'm just going to take it back one. Nope. Hang on. Grab this as well. Take it back one. 
Okay, perfect. And then what I'll do is I'm just going to control select each of these uh, walls here. And then I'm just going to drag it like way, way up. 336. That's pretty good. And we are going to need to fill in this little hole here. So what we'll do is we'll just drag it right up like that. And we'll go in here and make sure everything's good. Perfect. And just to make sure, you know, everything stays nice and tidy, we'll go over here to our texture application tool. We'll select this specific face here and then hit browse and then swap over and then hit apply. And now everything is exactly perfect. So how do we actually like, you know, add a skybox in? Well, that's actually really easy. So first we just need a brush. And then in the filter, we type in skybox. And you'll see there's tons of skyboxes in here. Now, there's a link in the description. Um, I think I have the tab open. Yeah. And it has like a list of all the different skyboxes that exist. And it's kind of in the middle. And I'll put a underneath the link in the description. I actually will add in, you know, a list of, you know, all the different common uh, ones. And as well, it also has like ideal sun angles, sun pitch. Uh, directional angle, the brightness, you know, color you want it to be, you know, all that good sort of stuff. It's very useful, actually. And we're going to select the floor. And then what we're going to do is from the top, I'm actually going to increase the grid size to 64 because this is going to actually be a uh, very big. I, I do want it to. All right. We're not going to be able to get it to be exact. All right. So I'll just set it back down to 16. All right. And now I'll set it up 64. Okay. Well, like I said, we'll we'll do some tidying here later. Um, but the main thing is is you know, uh okay, that did not help going in the wrong direction there. Okay. So that's all nice and perfect. Um Yeah. All right. I'll just drag this up. And then I'll just hit enter. Okay. And now we're going to fix that in just a second. I'm just curious about what this other piece is. Is that like not flush or something? Is that like a pixel off or something? No, I'm not really... Hmm. I'm not really sure what that's about. I might look at that off the camera there. Um, so another thing that I'm going to do is I'm just going to add in a uh, directional light. Actually, what is it? It's light. Mm, directional. There we go. Okay. So I am going to use, I'm going to set this kind of in the center there. Uh, where is it? I'm just going to drag it on up up here. Okay. So I am going to use the... Hmm. Which one do I want to use? I'm looking at the list here. I think I'm going to use the urban one. Okay, so how we use the urban one. All right, well, first we're going to go up to map and then map properties. And then you'll see down here it's using the sky underscore... Rural, and I'm just going to copy the name of this in, which is urban. And then I'm going to hit apply. And next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the light direction. And then I'm just going to copy some of the values over. So for the urban, um, let's see. For the, let's see. For the y'all, we want 115. And then for the pitch, we want negative 13 and then for the brightness you know it's not actually as bright as i was kind of expecting it to be um but that's okay uh let's do f let's see which one was i using um 
Now let's do 50. And then what we're going to do here is for the color, we're just going to pick a nice little color here. We're going to do 1112, 159, and 186. And then we'll hit OK. And we're actually going to have a lighting tutorial. Uh, so it's OK if, you know, all of this doesn't necessarily make sense. I'm just going to hit apply because um, there's actually other things that you need when it comes to, um, you know, doing lighting. Uh, but this should provide just enough light that we can actually see, uh, you know, when we come out here. Now, the other thing I'm going to do is these were way too bright. So I'm going to have these. I'm going to set all of these to 100. Hit apply. And you might also run into some issues because there's no cube map out there. So the uh, reflections and stuff might be a little off. And then we'll hit apply. Okay. And now we're just going to run the map and everything should be fine. I don't want to, I don't want to turn this into like, you know, a half hour long, uh, you know, tutorial because, you know, I'm explaining every little detail with the lights. Maybe in the next one, you know, we'll do it with the tutorial and it'll just be the sun. It seems ideal. Just got to wait a second here for this to go through. Map is unplayable. Thank you. Okay. And then we'll go this way. Yeah, this is actually quite a bit better uh, than last time. It was very bright last time. Okay, so as you can see, it is fairly well not really lit. Um, I might actually change the skybox, but I do like that skybox. It's just very dark, um, which might end up working. I'm not really sure. Uh, there's a couple other skyboxes, so I might play with it a little bit just to see. Um, and if you're wondering why the shadow and stuff is kind of, you know, cut and spread out this way, it's because this is one very big brush. And ideally what you want is smaller brushes. So I might also chop this up with the, uh, the clipping tool. But I'll do that off camera. That'd be a nice little assignment for you guys. Um, chop it up just a, just a smidge. Okay, so... There you have it. Uh, this is the skybox tutorial, and we kind of have a really cool skybox. Um, like I said, yeah, I really, really do like this. So, uh, don't know what don't know what the next one will be. Uh, there's so much stuff that needs to be covered. The other thing that we really need to do before we start doing anything out here is we also we really need to connect uh, this side here. with this over here uh that is something that really really does need to be done at some point um so yeah anyhow everyone hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial uh don't forget to like share and subscribe if you like this if you have any comments questions anything like that uh feel free to join the discord there's a link to the discord in the description and if you'd like to support this channel and get early access to videos then uh, all you have to do is become a member and there's a join button in the link and oh sorry in the link yeah there's a join button in the link no uh there's a join link in the description and there's also a lovely little button on youtube that allows you to join and i hope you guys have a good one and i'll see you all in the next one